Hello guys, I'm back with another build review. This build is about the cinema build and it's just been updated. So let me give you a quick rundown on this build. Here we have movies, TV shows, search, TV, your 4K and 3D section, music, the add-ons, your settings, and the hub. Alright, so when you press down on hub, here you have your movies library and your TV shows library. And there's two ways you could build your library is through the covenant add-on. You could add movies and TV shows to your library. And it will appear right here. Alright, I've only added one, one movie in here for the video purpose. Alright, now let's go into the hub. And it'll take you to the extended info mod. And in here you can add your movies and your TV shows. Let's click on a movie. Alright, you could press play and you could select um, an add-on you want to play the movie from. Alright, or you could slide to the right and then add to library. Alright, let's back up out of there. Now let's go back to the movie library. As you can see, I've added Rise of the Planet of the Apes to the library. Alright. And, um... Here we have our movie section. Alright. In the movie section, in the submenu, we have titles, it sets. It, that's if you added sets to your um in your movie library. You could easily get to it by going to sets, your movie sets. Here's your files. Your list of your movies. Dandy Movies, Flixnet Movies, Reborn Movies, Showbox, Specto, and Pyramid Movies. Alright, clicking on Movies itself takes you to the Covenant add-on of the Movie section. And for the widget, when you press up, you have a Movie Genres, which will take you straight to the Extended um, Movie Database. Alright, here we have our TV shows. In the submenu, we have Title, Files, Elysium Shows, Exodus Shows, Flixnext, Reborn, Showbox, and Specto. Alright, clicking on TV shows takes you straight to the Covenant TV show section. Alright, pressing up takes you to the TV show genre. Which will also take you to the extended info mod. It's the quick shortcut. And here you have your search. When you click on search, um, let's say you want to search for any movie. Let's see. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna just put Batman. Alright, so you have a choice to search for it in the movie database or if you have a track account. Alright, and it gives you all the different Batman movies. Let's say you was looking for the Lego Batman movie. You click on it. And it gives you a list of add-ons to play the movie from. Alright, so when you back out and you back to this keyboard right here, you just click on done. And you're back to the home screen. Here we have our TV show section. When you click on TV shows, it takes you to the TV One add-on. Here you have channels, news, shows, movies, sports, music. Alright, let's go into channels. And um, let's try 
Let's try Cartoon Network. All right. Let's try another channel. All right. Let's see. Let's try the Food Network UK. As you can see, it loads up pretty quick. All right, let's back up out of there. And let's go to shows. And um, this is um 24-7 um, shows. Let's go to Arrested Development, pick any show. As you can see, it's playing live and it's 24 7. Alright, let's back up. And the same thing for the movies. But you have um, different categories. You have comedy, animation, action, documentary, horror, mafia movies, musical movies, mystery movies, romance. Alright, and there's all 24-7 movies. Here you have your sports. All right, I've tested most of these sports channels and they mo all of them pretty much work. Most of them work. I had to stop it. All right, let's back up out of here. And then here you have your music. And it's also it's also live. All right. Now let's back up out of here so I can show you what else this TV section has. In the sub menu, you have FTFA TV, Falcon Ultra TV, and Made in Canada IPTV. Alright, here we have our 4K 3D section. In the sub menu, we have Stream 4K. And it's best if you have a Real, a Real the Brit account to stream 4K movies. Alright, you have a nice size list in here. Alright, here we have Real 4K, Falcon 4K, Supremacy 4K, Maverick 4K, Stream 3D, and Real 3D. Alright, and these are the 3D movies. It's also from um, Stream Army. Alright, here we have our music section. And um, in the sub menu we have beats, Django, Karma, Now Music, You Music, and these are if you have your music on your device, you would go here to your files, your playlist. Here's your add-ons. In the sub menu you'll find your video add-ons, your music add-on, program add-on, pictures, my add-ons. And install, this will take you to install from zip file and search. Alright, under settings, you have your skin settings, interface, player, media, live TV. That's if you have a PVR setup, add-ons, 
so on and so forth and you also find your file manager here this is for um that takes you straight to add the uh, add source to your file manager and then we're back on hub all right so let me show you how to install this build and where to get it from you would get it from the aries wizard all right you would go to your file manager and go to add source and the source you'll put in there is right here for the Aries wizard and the link will be in the description down below I've called it Aries you can name it whatever you want and then hit save all right and then you would want to go to install from zip file all right you go to install from zip file I named it Aries and you would install it I already have it installed so mine will say updated so just wait for your notification to pop up and then install from repository and then you scroll down to Aries project programmers add-ons and the Aries wizard all right so once it's installed it'll be in your programs add-on I mean your uh, excuse me your program section of Cody and then you'll go to Aries wizard all right you give it a minute to pop up All right, so once you're in the screen right here, you'll go to Browse Builds. And then scroll down till you see the name Steven, which is right here. You'll click on it. Now, if you haven't done a fresh start already, I suggest you do one. You can go right here and do a fresh start. I'm also do a fresh start and and um, install the build. So I'll press press start. Are you sure? You click yes. And um, if you want to keep your favorites, your sources, you could do that also. But I usually just go to proceed. All right, it says Cody needs to foreclose. So if it doesn't close for you, I suggest you pull out the power button or any way that you would foreclose your Cody. I hit OK and it foreclosed. And I open Cody up again. All right, and then I'll scroll down to add ons and then go to the Aries wizard again. Alright, so once this, once you're in here, you'll go to Browse Builds again, and then scroll down to Steven. Alright, and then you'll click on Steven, and the specific build is Krypton Cinema Build. All right, you have two versions of this also. You have the Cinema Build and the Cinema X Build, which which I will be updating also. But this particular build is the Cinema Build. All right, so you'll click on Cinema Build and then click Install and then Proceed.
I try to keep this uh, this build a little lighter than the Cinema X build. And um, like I stated before, that build will also be updated. So look out for that. But um, yeah, this particular build, I try to keep it a little lighter than the Cinema X build, which has more add-ons and and stuff like that. Alright, just a couple of more seconds. Alright, so now it's going to start extracting the files. Alright, so it's finished doing its thing. Now we wait for a dialog box to pop up. And then you click no. And um this is just an information about contests, free competition to weigh great prizes. You just click no. And then it says Cody needs to be closed. You click OK. Now I'm on my NVIDIA shield, but um the the, the older version. And um, it's not really cracked up with, you know, it, it, it does slow down. So what I usually do is I, if my ES File Explorer is on, I foreclose it. I do notice it speeds up my device a little bit more. And also my web browser, which I use is the Opera. All right. Now I'll go back into Kodi. And there you have it guys. Now with any build as usual you give it some time to do its thing in the background. You know let it settle down. Let it you know populate what it needs to populate. Let it do you know it's cleaning because there's also an auto cleaner in here. All right. Now um this is the build you got. And also let me show you that um if you don't know how to add the movies from the Covenant add-on, let's say TV shows. I'll just go into most popular. 
And um, I'm going to just choose any show. I'm going to choose Glow. You hit your context button or long press button for this menu to pop up. And then you scroll down and then add to library. Alright, it's the same thing for the movies. Alright, you just go into any category. Say you want to add Baby Driver, it's a context button, a long press button, and then add to library. All right, and also your favorite folder is all the way on the top. It's your favorite folder and your power button to quit, to exit. It also takes you to your file manager and reload your skin if you made any changes to it. All right, and if you want to lighten up the, the background a little bit also, let me show you. You go to settings. And you go to the B. And you scroll down to colors. And background colors. And you could change your colors in the background as you wish. Or you could just click on this white this white background with a line through it. And it will light, light up the background a little bit. Alright, so there you have it guys. Thank you for watching. If you're new to my channels, hit that subscribe button. And um, I also want to thank each and every one of you for subscribing to my channel. And I, re I really appreciate it. I thank you so much. And I hope you guys like this build. And I'll uh, talk to you guys another time.